Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to do a uh, review on the Old Glory flagpole. And this is a really an 18 month review. Uh, I purchased this flagpole in October of 2021. See a lot of videos on YouTube, uh, people buying these, installing them. They think they're fantastic. Um, nobody seems to do a review on, on how they stand up over time. Uh, one of the things about uh, Old Glory flagpoles is they are claimed to be tested to 100 mile per hour winds. Um, they have stronger and thicker aluminum and that that is supposed to be a superior product. And so this is going to be kind of an honest review. Now I want to start this by saying that uh, yeah, I live in southwest Minnesota. Uh, we do see a fair amount of wind, um, which is the reason I kind of purchased this flagpole to be honest. And I went even uh, further and uh, paid extra for essentially an extended warranty for three years against any damage. Um, now, we have not seen 100 mile of power winds here, uh, but we do see sustained winds, 20, 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, gusts to 50 and 60, not uncommon. And again, it's the sustained winds that I think um, have really uh, kind of prompted me to show you kind of what happens to these flagpoles. Uh, let me just give you an example of uh, kind of what we look at as far as winds here. All right, again, this is an old glory flagpole. They are sold by a company called Service First. Um, I will link the company down in the description below. It will be the first link that you see. Um, this is a little bit what you will see uh, on their website. Here's a quick look at the Service First website. Telescopic or sectional flagpoles are your options. I have the sectional pole, different lengths, silver or black. So lots of options here. This is the flagpole I have. You can see they're flying three flags on it. A 30 foot sectional pole. Some of the features. Heavy duty 11 gauge. Claiming better than their competitor. Most importantly, built to withstand 100 mile per hour winds. And you have a couple options you can get with these as well collars and flags, so on and so forth. Okay, so I have the 30 foot sectional pole and just give you a look up the pole and you will see what has happened to our flagpole over time just from the sustained winds. And there's actually a little bit more to it than that. And once I pull this apart, I'm gonna show you um, what's going on here at that next section up. When you get the flagpole, gun it comes in sections, they give you kind of a thick plastic, um, almost like big giant stickers. And you wrap them around each section and then slip the next one down. And the intention is for you to keep adding layers of that until these sections fit tight together. Well, within a few months, that plastic had totally worn away just from the wind action and the pole flexing, it was gone. And so twice now in the spring of 2022 and again the fall of 2022, I've taken the pole apart and I've wrapped it actually in aluminum uh, HVAC tape. It seems to have held up a little better, but even now it's starting to deteriorate and fall out. You can actually see it here kind of peeling out. So it needs to be redone now um, again. So I'm gonna pull this uh, pole apart and I'm gonna show you what has happened up to the next section up there. And uh, then we'll kind of go from there.
Okay, one of the claims to the flagpole is the thick aluminum. Um, yeah, 11 gauge aluminum on this bottom section here. And I exceeded their expectations as far as installation. I'm two feet down with two bags of concrete in this. But the remaining sections of the pole um, are not 11 gauge. Uh, so this is probably maybe 20 or so. Um, so it's not 11 gauge aluminum all the way up the pole. So you should be aware of that. Now, what has happened here with the flexing is that the pole has sustained stress cracking. This is the, uh, I guess you'd call it the third section of the pole. And um, it's only a matter of time before that's a completely, uh, complete failure there of that. I don't recall seeing any stress cracks in this when I pulled it apart in the fall. And here's the top section. Um, so those appear okay. A little bit of a mark there from the flexing. But just that second one down, um, that's, that's not gonna last. That's already got stress crack. It's only a matter of time before that fails. Uh, in the interim, I'm gonna go ahead and get this rewrapped. I wanna get the pole reinstalled and get a new flag up there. And then I'll give you my final thoughts. Here's a look at the light, by the way. It's been thrown off twice now. And uh, it's got a crack in it. And uh, the battery is getting worn. Doesn't really turn on anyway, but that's been damaged from being thrown off uh, from the wind. All right, everything is back together. Uh, I have a new flag here. Um, by the way, if you live in a windy area, uh, highly recommend do not go with a nylon flag. They will not last. Um, I only get maybe a few months out of one if they're made of nylon. Doesn't matter if they're triple ply, uh, don't fall for that. So if you want a good flag, you gotta go with polyester. Um, I will link to this flag in the description below. Um, this one here is a four by six flag. I usually only fly a three by fives, but uh, decided to go with a little bit bigger flag this time. So it's a little bit more visible from down on the county road. So I need to redo my uh, hook here. I think that looks pretty good. All right, oh glory back in place here. Uh, it's definitely a heavier flag polyester. I don't have much wind today. Um, but I got this rewrapped as best I can. Straighten it out a little bit. But uh, with those hairline cracks in that section in there, I don't anticipate this thing's gonna last through our severe weather season that we're coming up on here. It's uh, April right now. And we're going to start to see uh, some severe weather. I don't think this is going to last. So here are my thoughts. The, first of all, the price is right on these poles. Um, less than 200 bucks, you get a residential flagpole. Most people that live in an urban area or in a not, not windy area, you're probably going to be fine. If you do live in a windy area, you need to be cautious. Definitely pay extra for that extended warranty. Uh, be prepared to do some maintenance on it. Bolt that solar light down, maybe with extra bolts. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, have a follow-up video on this. I'm gonna contact the manufacturer 
about the cracking in that uh, next section there and see if they will warranty the product since it, it's due to fail. In my opinion, it already has failed, uh, but the flag has not came down yet. It's not bent over, but uh, it's due to fail. So I will do a follow-up video and uh, let you know how the service was from uh, Service First Products and uh, what they wanted to do. Now, one of the questions I had was, you know, they have the sectional pole and they have the collapsible pole that has the little buttons and you can raise it up and down, whether that pole would hold up better. My opinion is no. Um, those sections have to be kind of looser together to allow it to uh, expand and contract. So I personally do not feel that the collapsible would really work in my situation at all. Might want to also keep that in mind if you're in a windy area. Probably would not go with the collapsible pole. Uh, probably not going to work out very well for you. So I will post a follow-up video, let you know the result of that. Uh, in the meantime, I have linked to Service First below. It's the first link you'll see. And I will also link to that uh, polyester flag. And uh, it's spring around here and the chickens are loving it. Winter finally is going away. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.